Hey guys, Garney here, checking in with you. How you doing today? You know what, you guys know that I, some of you guys know, I'm going to be traveling here with my family to London, Bath, Normandy, and Paris. And I'm going to be taking, you know, I'm going to be vlogging the trip for family memories. So guess what I've got here? I got my DJ Osmo Pocket set up on a small tripod using my, well, my Rode Wireless Go microphone. As you can see, I've got it attached here to my shirt and attached to this. I'm lo I was looking for something that was small, compact, easy to assemble, and disassemble, and this is what I've come up with. I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket with the Ulanzi Ultra Wide Lens. I've got the DJI Audio um, Fob. I've got the Wireless Go microphone hooked up to it, and this is the Manfrotto tripod. So let me show you how that's all set up. Hey guys, here it is. Here's the all the raw components for my little DJI Osmo Pocket vlogging setup using the Rode Wireless Go microphone. So let me show you how this is all assembled and the little pieces that are there. Again, my goal was number one, keep it simple. Number two, get a lot of options where they have multiple purposes. And number three, it's easy to pack and move around. I don't have to have a lot of extra gear to get good quality audio to my DJI Osmo Pocket. Plus, I'm gonna be vlogging with it anyway, so I needed something that was I was going to use anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, this is where this is where the key is. This is a a, a cold shoe quarter inch th twenty thread um, ball mount mini ball mount that I had. In fact, let me take this off here real quick because you could buy. I bought this on Amazon from Small Rig, and many of you guys know Small Rig. Uh, they actually make cages and things and accessories for cameras and film and things like that. And I bought it from there, two of these, for about $10, which wasn't so bad on Amazon. This is also a small rig uh, cold shoe mount. It's got a, three, a one quarter inch, 20 thread on the bottom here. And basically, it could fit inside the, the, the small rig cages. But I purposely got it because I wanted to attach it to my ball mount. And so I'm going to quickly add that here. Get that all set up just like that. That's parts one and two, all right? The next piece that's gonna that I want to show you is this D-ring mount uh, for the DJI Osmo Pocket. It actually allows my pocket to sit right in, and if I have a tripod, I can mount the tripod mount right there. So this just gives me that crucial extra couple of inches that I need for that Osmo Pocket. But my my question was, how am I gonna get a quart, two, I have two quarter inch 20 threads here, and I got a female, got two, you know, three females here. How am I supposed to get in to get connected here? So that's why I bought this little device here. This is a male to male quarter, you know, male to male quarter inch 20 threads. Uh, it comes in a pack of like five or 10, and I just screw that on there like this. And then I take this piece, I screw on the bottom here like so there you go see how that's coming together let me turn this around here so it gets aligned up correctly like so and then i have if you guys don't know this, this is the manfrotti mini uh, tripod i love this thing the reason why i like it so much is because uh it has a ball mount on it and this is such a wonderful little tool. I love this thing. I can carry my Sony 6400, Alpha 6400 on here. I can also use it for other things like my GoPros or like here on my DJ Osmo Pocket. So I'm going to screw this in here like so. Now you're starting to see how all of these components start to come together, right? Next thing I do, I'm going to take my Osmo Pocket, slide it into the D-ring here. And I love this because it has a screw mount here to where I could tighten it down onto, instead of just slipping it in and calling it a day, that's it. Now, some of you guys are saying, okay, Garney, I'm still wondering why you bought this with a mount. Couldn't you have just screwed it straight to the frame? Yes, I could. I could have skipped the 90 degree um, ball mount there. Yes, I could have done so. But if you're familiar with the Rode Wireless Go, uh, you notice the screen up front here, and this actually provides you all the levels and things like that that you need when you're doing recording. So if it's sitting up like this, which is the normal configuration, or like this, you're not going to see the screen. So I wanted to where I could see that screen. That's why I bought this, uh, bought the 90-degree the mount here, so I could set up my road like so. This way I can see both the, let me turn on my Osmo Pocket here. Oops. Oh, look, my Ulanzi uh, screen. 
<laughs> oh, my wide angle fell off. I forgot that was on there. So basically, here it is, guys. I can actually see both my road, my gains here on my road, and I can see the screen on my DJI Osmo Pocket. Now, the last thing that really, the last two things that I really need is this right here. As, you get, as many of you guys know, this is the DJI Osmo um, 3.5 millimeter to, to USB-C connector. If you want any audio for your DJI Osmo Pocket, you've got to buy this proprietary device. Uh, it's $35. It's, it's very similar to the, uh, the dongle that you have to buy for the GoPro, but... You know, the GoPro card charges you $50 for that dongle. This one here is only $35. Well, okay. I, you know, I don't know why they do that, but hey, uh, they are selling it and it works. So all I have to do is plug in the 3.5, the 3.5. By the way, this red cord comes with the Rode mic. Like so. And there you go, guys. This is the setup that I'll be vlogging with. And what I like about it here is... That I can take this and I can rotate this up so that way when I'm holding it out I have that extra angle that I may need <laughs> anyway guys this is the setup that I have for my DJI Osmo pocket and my Rode wireless go microphone just a simple setup really easy quick uh, I could put this together take it apart really fast in fact let me go ahead and shut off my Osmo pocket unplug the USB-C take off my Rode transmitter Set that off to the side. Take, unscrew my Osmo Pocket out of there. And I can just put this in my backpack, be done with it, and put this in my little audio bag. That I you know, again, I was looking for something simple, easy to put together, take apart, you know, keep it on the cheap too. And here's the other part is the i love my sony alpha 6400 here which i'm filming on right now with my movo microphone but you know what it's a little heavy and it's a little cumbersome to carry around granted it's the camera i'm going to be using most of the time for photos but for videos and for quick shots and things like that i believe this is going to be the thing this is where it's going to be really good so let me switch here hey guys look at this this is this is wonderful here it is a little breezy out here today not a lot of breeze but just a little breezy i do not have the dead cat on top of the microphone here so i wonder if it's still capturing the 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 wind so this is in raw mode i'm not going to make any adjustments here but again using the lensy wide wide uh, lens here with this mount and things like that i wanted to make sure i see both the road wireless receiver and the screen on the osmo pocket uh, for this so anyway Testing one, two, three, how does this look? How does it sound? Again, no adjustments. This is raw as it is. Just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be taking with me to, well, London, Baths, Normandy, and Paris. We're gonna be gone for a while. So anyway, we'll talk to you in a little bit. So how was that, guys? You know what, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. If it was useful, go ahead and hit that like button. And you know what, if you love what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button. I'm always looking for new friends to join me on this journey. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you real soon. Peace.